Here we have the all-new 2025 Buick Enclave. Now this one comes in the sport touring trim level in the beautiful moonstone gray metallic. And then we have ebony perforated leatherette interior. For the powertrain, we get a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. That's made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. But love the design. As we come around to the, the front end here, we kind of get that same look we get on the new Encore GX, just with a kind of just really aggressive front end that's still elegant. You get those LED headlamps along with LED daytime running lights. Love on the sport touring trim. We get that black mesh grill. And then, of course, the new Buick logo. Very nice. But especially in this Moonstone Gray, just like the Encore GX, it just kind of reminds me of a shark for whatever reason. Down here, we get 20 inch alloy wheels. Passive keyless entry on all four doors, which is nice. And then our memory seat functions, power door locks, power window controls, and then our power folding mirrors have blind spot monitors in them. That's for our lift gate. We get a 12 speaker Bose sound system. We're gonna toggle our drive mode, electronic parking brake, etc. Hood release, pedals, manual tilt, telescoping steering wheel. And there's the power driver. See, we do get four-way power lumbar support here. Love the black with the, the white pinstripe there and then having the stitch ST in the headrest. But I want to give a, a big thank you to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this Enclave today. I'll leave a link below in the description. And if you're looking to find the best price on one of these in your area, just click on that second link down below. It takes a minute to fill out your info and I'll get your local dealers fighting to get you that best price on one of these. But 55,230 is a sticker price. Have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. So we're gonna see how the leg room is back here. So pretty good space. I'm making sure the seat's all the way back when it wasn't. So even better space here. And headroom is great. We don't have the panoramic sunroof, but really impressed by the space back here. Seat back pockets are on both sides. Rear AC controls, three prong household plug in, two USB C charge ports, big storage pocket down there, bottle holders. There's a view of the front from back here. And then we do have the, the vents in the, the ceiling there. And there's a look at the third row. There's a little bit of space back there. So I'm going to try and squeeze back there and show you the leg room again sitting behind myself in the second row. Not really doable for someone of my size, but if you want to scoot the seat up, you can make it work. It just won't be as comfortable. But USB-C ports on both sides in the back with bottle holders. And then if you want to get to the front without having to go through the middle, you can slide that up that way. Or it just gives you more leg room in the third row, so. And then your top tethers are right there. If you ever need to use your car seats, and then your anchors, pretty good positioning, I think. Easy to sit on, not uncomfortable. Let's go ahead and make our way towards the back. So capless fuel fill. And then a really nice design very elegant i think how they did the rear end with the tail lamps get the dual exhaust there trailer hitches behind there and pretty good space behind the third row and we can power fold the third row or power release the second row from here and i'll show you how that works They're pretty quick to get forward and back. Now, as we come around to the rear passenger side, again, you can hit this button and you can scoot it up when you do that. 
or you can fold it flat by doing that there. And then we make sure the seat's all the way back. And that's how that'll fold. And then pretty easy to just pop it back into place. And then front passenger seat, I like that we get the four-way lumbar again. And then your power adjustability for the rest of the seat, like the driver's side. 12 volt, USB-C, USB-A port. I like how it's hidden. And there's the glove compartment. But coming back around to the front, quick look in the engine bay. And it's covered up, but there's that 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder. Let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat next. <clears throat> So leather wrapped steering wheel with this one having the super cruise package we do have that indicator there and the sensor right there to make sure you're paying attention there's the horn i like the sound there now to the new screen we do get am fm xm radio along with bluetooth audio we have google news google Podcasts, alexa the usb drive i showed you those ports right there earlier google maps get full functionality with a subscription there and then the wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto compatibility. Go to your vehicle settings. You can control your team driver, rear seat reminder, buckle to drive, and then the Super Cruise lane change. I always like to turn that off. And then we also have the, the vehicle status, which I really like being able to see all this here. So the maintenance, the gauges, tire pressure monitors, all that is available to you there. You also have the auto park assist, which is a nice feature. And then the ambient lighting as well. So I control that from here and then it'll change colors. That's the most noticeable light bar that you get right in there. So that'll light up when you activate that. And then for trailering, you have a few options there to kind of get things going. The light test, the checklist. Now backup cameras there, pretty good picture. You also get that bird's eye view, which is nice. And then your front camera as well. And then for your headlamps, those are going to be in the screen here. So you have a quick shortcut right down there, which I like. Same thing for the lane keeping system. And then everything else, you can hit that there and you can toggle the traction control, the automatic high beams, the cameras, and then the lights and even the universal home remote there. Now for your AC controls, click in there, you can adjust the fan speed, fan direction. You have your three-stage heated seats and then your temperature, but you can adjust all of that here pretty easily. Even cut the whole system on or off. And then we have a nice volume knob here. Click that to mute. Wireless charging pad. I like the little kind of storage pocket here. It fits the, the key fob perfectly. And bottle holders. Center console, cubby space, removable tray. And then up here is where you'll find your hazards. Sunglasses holder. On stars up there as well. There's a quick look at the back seat. And then this one also has the heads up display. You can see that there in the middle. Back to the vanity mirror. Nice lights here, drop down. And then back to the steering wheel, we have our intermittent wiper so we can control that here. You can either scroll up there or there's a little kind of latch you can use. It's easier behind. Same thing for that rear wiper. And then you can pull either way for the rear wiper fluid. And then you just hit the button on the side here for the front wiper fluid. And then high beams can be toggled as well and you can flash too. Your shifter is over here on the right side, so just pull there for neutral, up for reverse, down for drive, press that button for park. And then we do have the, the limiter here, so it's kind of like your low gear. So when you're in drive, hit that, and then you can toggle that with the paddle shifters, and it'll show you what gear you're in in that bottom right-hand corner. But with this having the full on Super Cruise, activate the cruise here, 
and then you can activate the super cruise when applicable on the test drive portion i'll show how that works gap adjust for that and then your voice recognition can be toggled there and over here we can go through our radio station favorites track list depending on what we're in and then we have our shortcuts for the audio phone mute button and then we can change our views there of the gauge cluster. And then for the heads up display, you can adjust that there, brightness, and then your height, and then the rotation there. And you can actually turn it on or off, which is nice too. Push button starts there. And one more look at the key fob with remote start. And next, let's go ahead and take this 2025 Enclave Sport Touring out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this Enclave Sport Touring, the 2.5 Turbo 4, pretty quick. If you're used to the V6, you might be a little disappointed, but I like how this drives. I think it's very quick, very nice. And then you also get the added benefit of the the better fuel economy as opposed to the V6. Now a bit of a, a whine grunt to it because it is the lower displacement four cylinder. But I, it kind of sounds like a diesel to me, but I like it. We're gonna give it a pull here. Here we go. So I wasn't flooring it by any means. It's just average, kind of like, I say above average acceleration, but again, not flooring it at all. I'm gonna test out the Super Cruise. So we get the lane centering, the adaptive cruise and all of that. And then this kind of dictates when you need to put your hands on the wheel or whatever. And then you can see as that car kind of cut in front of me, it braked. So pretty good driver assistance system in my opinion. Now in terms of ride quality, it's a Buick and it does ride like one. Very impressed by the, the ride quality there. And on a normal day like today in terms of the wind noise, pretty good in here just I can feel the the acoustics kind of deadening the I should say the, the insulation the windows and all that deadening the wind noise as it tries to come in here so very impressed by that and I just like how it drives the steering wheel feels fantastic brake pedal feels normal Now in terms of what you get for the money, I think it's a pretty solid buy just because this is considered a luxury vehicle and it kind of reacts that way in terms of the steering feel, the ride quality, the interior, everything here is impressive. And then just the added comfort of having the Super Cruise package here. Highly recommend that. It's just such a, a great driver assistance suite and I think it is number one on top of autopilot from or full self-driving even from tesla because on the highway this thing just does exceptionally well and it's smooth it doesn't kind of have hiccups every so often at least that i've seen it's not perfect but when it has an issue it's not scaring you like tesla software does or at least like it used to and the other cool thing is these are also Tesla software, Ford software, Buick software, Chevy software. It's always getting updates, so you always have that 
I guess you're always knowing that it's going to get better and better over time. Now I want to give a huge thank you to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this vehicle once again. This one does come with a lifetime powertrain warranty if you're worried about how the four cylinder is going to last over the years or whatever. You get that option included with your purchase there. But if you're not trying to get something like this and you want to get something closer to home click on that second link down below it takes a minute or two to fill out your information and then i'll get your local dealers fighting to get you that best price on one of these but i think again for that mid 50s to sixty thousand dollar range solid solid buy here and you don't even have to go all the way up to the avenir or the premium the sport touring is perfect you get the looks you still get all the technology. You're missing like the sunroof, the cool seats, but if that's not a big deal for you, this is the best way to go, I think. And I just love everything here. Like the steering wheel looks fantastic. The screens, the shifter, they just did a fantastic job updating this interior. But with all that being said, this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2025 Buick Enclave Sport Touring.